All right, welcome back. Today we got some new product information, or it looks like new in stock stuff. I stuff I have not seen released or alerts coming in uh, from some of the vendors, mostly Amazon. And I wanted to show you two or three of them. I think it's two. Uh, what I do, I have these price alerts set up, and I get them from various sources. And they're a few minutes late when they come in stock. I can detect that they're in stock, and I'll push out a little notification to my new Discord. And uh, it's right here on the screen, and I put a link below in the description. Again, it's helpful. If you see it come in, you can click on it. And I was able to score one 6600 XT Sapphire through the alert. And I demandedly did it once I got the notice. I clicked on it, added it to my cart, and was able to get it at the decent price, the Amazon price, which... I talk about in another video how you get the special Amazon pricing. So what are we looking at? This is the old Discord right here. <clears throat> right there is the Discord, and I got a couple Rocco Taco alerts. And the first one I think we have seen before, but we, we now see it again at the special pricing. And let's bring this over. Come on, buddy. There we go, $629.99. That's the lowest I have seen this guy. This uh, Red Devil. The old Red Devil seems to haunt me, seems to follow me. I have two of the Red Devils. Uh, they draw a little more watts because they got all the fancy LEDs. And for me, I'm at the point where just stuff, no fluff. Give me a card that just does the job. I don't need all the fancy bells and whistles. Make it last and make it give me some of that yummy hash. And I'm happy. I don't know. The red colors, woo, that, that wears off after about an hour. He's like, all right, get to work, right? All right, there's this guy, and there's the link above. Again, with that special Amazon code, you see that's the secret sauce. I wrote, I wrote about it. I talk about it in another video. All right, let's go back to the Discord. Where is the Discord? Kablamo. Second one that I saw. I haven't seen this guy in a while. Let's do it. Come on, big money. Big money, big money, big money. Bada, 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 swing. All right. What do we got going on here? We got a 3060 Ti for the win, Ultra Gaming. Look at this. This is a non-LHR. How do you know it's a non-LHR? Model numbers ending in R are non-LHR. Model numbers ending in L are LHR. K-L, LHR. Yeah. There you go. There's one left in stock, eighteen hundred bucks, man. That's a lot of that's a lot of that's a lot of money. That's a lot of money for a uh, card, but it's a thirty sixty Ti for the win, Ultra Gaming KR. Yeah, look at that guy. I don't know. That's I'm not going to buy. That's too much money. <laughs> I I'm not even sure what the hash rate is on that. We can go check. Hold on, let's do it. Thirty sixty Ti. Let's go check. What to mine? Ah, 3060 Ti. Big money, big money. Big, 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 big. Come on, let's go, let's go. 3060 Ti. I don't need that. I don't know why that's selected. Come on, now we go up here. Uh, let's see. 3060 Ti. And here they'll put the L version. This is not. This one is a non LHR. And let's just go calculate. 3060 Ti. All right, you can get on ETH hash 335 a day. 335 a day, 317 on nice hash, flux, and there you go, all the way down. And let's go check the LHR version. 3060 Ti. Where are you? Oh my God. Come on, it's right in front of me. I see it. Look at look, it's not even organized. 3060 Ti. That's what they did to me. That's just curious what the difference is. Oh, about a eh, not quite a buck. You know, what do you think? 50 cents, 75, 50. Yeah. Not, oh, that's a different coin, too. Sorry. Ethereum, 231, about a buck. Buck difference. So but some of these software miners are cracking this hash thing, man. So who knows? Who knows if this is accurate or up to date? So you can get the um, non LHR version. And where did it go? Kablamo. There you go. Those links are in the uh, Discord, and I'll put them in the uh, video description. I think that's it. 
Where'd it go? Where is my Discord? Kablamo. There we go. But what is, oh, we got a Radeon. Let's check this guy out. This is a new Egger. We got a new Egger coming in. We got a new egg alert. Oh, this one's not even loading. Come on. $6.99. So you can get the Red Devil for $6.29 on Amazon. Oh my God, and this guy wants 49 bucks shipping. So you gotta look at that shipping, folks. You wanna spend it, my God. Come on, I ship stuff. And realistically, this card would cost, let's say, I hate USPS because they, they, they're just not the greatest. Uh, UPS, let's say $13, $14.99 to ship this card with insurance and signature guarantee. Well, insurance, and uh, let's just say $19 for signature and insurance for this guy. It's probably under a pound or two. So, yeah, $49. Bucks. That, no, pass. Oh, that's why. Shipping from Hong Kong. New egg always gets me, man. I always see this crap. And this is a big red flag with new egg. I new egg is my last go-to. Unless I know it's a US new item. I just get nervous with new egg stuff. I don't know. I maybe they're new man. I don't know. It seems like they're just gone downhill the past past few years. Who knows? What do I know? I just know I just know I'm not gonna buy that. Hey look, I got a new stock alert. So we got the red it keeps repeating the red devil, but oh well, they must be stocking that red devil. See how that works? You, you sign up and you get these um, you get these alerts if you set it up right on my Discord. Uh, so then you go check. We go back. Let's go back to the Discord. Boom. There's that Red Devil again. Came in. It's another Amazon. It's the same one. It's the same price, 629er. All right. They seem to be restocking this guy daily on a, uh, on a, uh, the 629 Red Devil, and these pop-ups drive me nuts. Okay. Free delivery, January. Oh, this one. Oh, it's almost a pre-order, so it's kind of sketchy they do that. You order this thing, but you're not going to get it until January 22nd to February 1st. It arrives after Christmas, the greatest time of year. Uh, so, yeah, you got to watch this crap. Even though it's like they say add to cart. But the reason they do that, you know why. Who's king? Who's the boss? Amazon's the boss. Look right down here, right here where the mousey is. That's why they can get away with it. So, yeah, you got to watch that. You see a great price and you really want the card, you're going to have to wait a month. But that's the nature of the beast in this world right now with these GPUs. Or go to eBay and pay, probably for this card, I don't know, probably 800 Who knows what they're asking these days. You can bid too, but these auctions are stupid because at the last second you can set a max bid. I'll, I'll show you how to win every bid every time. You know, it's, it's really easy. People that bid on eBay don't know how to bid. You don't bid until the last second. Why are you bidding throughout the week? You're just wasting everybody's time. You know, just set your price and you're always, you know, set the price you're happy with on eBay. Bid on an auction. Set the price you're happy to pay. Say this thing, $629.99. As long as no one outbids you, you're going to get that. So say someone bids 300 bucks, but your max bid is $629. You're only going to pay $10 over the last bid, $310. Do you see how that works? Even though your max bid is $629, but someone could have another bid above you at $650 and they'll beat you. So your max max bid has got to be reasonable for you. I mean, you want to put a thousand? You can do that, but if someone has nine hundred, you're gonna pay a thousand. So you gotta watch it. That's the only catch right there. So I usually go in and find a card I like and say, well, you know, this is what I'll pay, $629. The current auction's at 300 and there's five days left. I just set it and forget it. As long as no one goes over my max bid, I'm going to get it. Not at 629 but 10 or 5 bucks over the last highest bid. Do you see how that works? That's just your max water high mark, 629 So anyway, that's a tangent on eBay bidding. It's in the write-up, and eBay counts on people not knowing how to bid because what that does is it gets a frenzy of FOMO, fear of missing out, and they, it dries up the bidding throughout the week, which is very stupid, people. Just don't bid and, you know, set your max price and walk away. If you get it, you get it. If you don't, all right, because you set what you're comfortable to pay with, and then in the end, you're usually pleasantly surprised that uh, you got it for less. But you'll find out when you bid, if you do it manually in the last 15 seconds, you immediately get outbid. Why? Because they have the high bid, max bid setting, above what you were bidding. See how that works? So you're just best to set your max bid, what you're willing to pay out of pocket, suck it up, cupcake, and then that's what you're gonna go with. And then you set and forget. 
but a lot of people just know this. You know, a lot of people don't. I'd say 80% of people don't know this trick or how Amazon, how eBay bidding works. So, but my point is you can get stuff cheaper on eBay if you know how to bid or you, you know, look for it. But in general, things are really jacked up on eBay. Why? Fees. eBay is butho about fees, man. 14%. So for me to sell a card I got, say, I got to crank it up at least 14, pad that margin because you don't want to buy something, try to resell it or have something you want to sell. An eBay, a used card, new card, whatever, and eBay is going to take all your profits. Like, give me a break, man. I understand you're providing a platform, but I think the fees are ridiculous. They should be half. I don't know. That's just the way I look at it. But I don't have to use it, so I could meet people in person and probably get knifed. <laughs> and I don't want to do that. So there we go. We got two alerts in. Blammo. The red devil keeps popping its head up daily. But if you don't use that, URL mod I talk about in my other video, you're going to get the higher price of $7.59, but this gives you the price of $6.29. There you go. Just trying to help you out. I mean, it works sometimes. It doesn't work. And I think it, it comes based on stock <clears throat> and as they adjust the database or whatever the inventory, because last night I saw it, I kept trying to use my URL trick and it would be $7.59, but then a few hours later, boom, $6.29. So interesting. So this one has me curious. This 3060 Ti for the win. The, I think these are hot cards and amazing they're actually in stock. But that's a hefty price to pay. That is a hefty price. Oh, wow. Other sellers, my God. They go up to 1900 only one left. I, geez, for that, you could buy almost three, you could buy almost three uh, 6600 Red Devils, and to see what the hash rate is. Triple fans, all metal backplate. Hmm. Ah, tell me what you think. Is this a card to get? 3060 Ti for the win, non LHR, which, again, non LHR, how do I know? It has a KR. KR is non LHR. KL is LHR. And these guys should put that in here. I, I, I just get a little ticked that some listings will not say LHR, non-LHR, because they know miners are buying all the stuff right now. Uh, mining customers have money. Gaming guys, I get it. You want to play games? I don't know. I, having played games, it's the biggest time suck in the world. You could be doing so much better things with your time, and I'm just pissed off probably a million people, but Jesus, yeah, go mine. Make some money. I'm sure people make money gaming, but not what you can make just mining, too. You, know, you get out there and turn these cards on, Get them working while you're sleeping. Get some of that sort of passive income flowing. That's what it's all about. Uh, if you can get financially independent by mining, dude, you're, that's the way to go. Because when you work for other people, job just over broke. J-O-B. You got to watch that. All right, that's all I got. A little bit of a product browsing day, seeing what's out there. Be interested to see what happens after Christmas. And what happens with crypto? What are we doing on crypto right now? We are talking the 16th of December. Dun, dun, dun. Green. But look at Ethereum again. I'm a bit down on Ethereum because their fees, they just turn, turn off, big turn off. And they're turning off some of the exchanges because, like I said, BlockFi and that have stopped giving away their free withdrawal on Ethereum network tokens because the fees are ridiculous. It's, they're losing money. And for me to move my stuff out of Ethermine that I mine to uh, my wallet, the gas fees are crazy. That's why I set mine low. But there you're going to sit there for a while hoping, oh, my God, come down to 50 guay, 50 guay. But then you get nervous because all this money is building up on Ethermine. It's becoming a huge wallet for you. And if it gets hacked or something, boom, there goes all your work. It's, it's a risky world. It's a risky, risky, volatile world. So you just got to go with, go with what you can. If you believe in the coin, buy it. Uh, let's see. What are we at? Litecoin. My dreaded nemesis, Litecoin. Just go to 400 Litecoin so I can dump you. I got to get away from you. You were top four, baby, but now you're, God, you're like 19. Yeah. Then that guy, I should have known back in 2017, the guy that runs Litecoin dumped all of his stuff. I said, wait, what? It was not a good image. And since then, it came back up to 400. I'll give him that. That was uh, what? Uh, within a year ago? I should have got out then. Oh, well. Because I want to just get Bitcoin. Store of value, right? Store of value. That's the way I treat it. 
I used to own gold and it was so stupid. You'd own the coin and it's like, what am I going to do with this coin? You put it in a safety deposit box. You're paying fees on the safety deposit box. You're, I don't know. And silver, what a joke. I had it for years. It never went up. And I was like, I saw through, the, I saw through the bull crap on uh, this gold, silver crap stuff. I had coins and everything. I'm going, what good is this? And to go sell it, you have to pay the fee to just cash out of it. I went, there's, there's no money in this crap. So I, you, know, you can buy the paper stuff, mutual funds, and I, nah, I just, I don't know. For me, gold and silver was a joke, and now crypto. At least now I can move it over to BlockFi or Voyager and get interest on it, six percent or something, you know. And blammo, yeah, I'm done with that metal crap. I always thought too, what if they, what if Musk sends up a rocket and they start mining asteroids, which are solid gold? Gold's gonna go to negative, you know. It's gonna happen. They're gonna, oh, here's an, here comes an asteroid, or you know, with a with solid silver gold. Let's go mine it. <laughs> oh, well. All right, that's all I got. I'm just rambling on today. Make a ramble video about some of the products. Just so you guys are aware, you, you can get notifications on stuff that's coming in. Although it seems to be dry, this, 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 uh, <laughs> if I could say it, this, um, where is it? 3060 tie was a new one that popped caught my attention, but I'm not dropping that much money. Now we got this guy repeating too. This is a Ryzen 9 for the net hundred. And we're seeing another Amazoner. Wow, let's see if Amazon's selling it. I'm curious. Come on, Amazon. Amazon. Amazon's selling it. Oh my God, that thing dropped in price. All right, this is a newsflash. Look at that. That is the lowest I've seen that. Um, where's my notes? 5,900. That's the 5900. Yeah, that, that's the lowest I've seen. It was at 530 before. Before the CPU Raptorium rush, it was mid 400, so it's getting down. Yeah, that's a popular one. I still like the 3900 for some reason. All right, and the big boy is the 5950. I think that gets up in price. Yep. All right. Yeah, go check it out. I'll put these links below. And, uh, yeah, let me know what you find. If you find any deals, man, just post them. Post them on the video. Post them in the Discord. Just help others out who are looking for cheap parts. eBay is an all right go-to, like I said, but you got to, well, based on my comments, prices can get jacked, and people just don't know how to bid, and they drive the price to the roof. It's, it's just it's counterproductive sometimes. Uh, let's see. All right, go forth, do great things. I am done. All right, take care.